Hi, I'm Rakeem. And I'm Heather. And we're graduate students in the Department of Entomology at Cornell University. And we're going to teach you how to be an insect detective. There are a lot of reasons why insects are so cool to study. They come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. And you can find them almost anywhere, like in forests, streams, and even in your own backyard. There's a few things you might find helpful in capturing insects. The first thing you will need is a net that you use to capture insects. You want to use a net, you'll want to do a back and forth motion through and around the foliage. Once you've captured insects, you flip the net to keep them from escaping. You might also want to use an aspirator to help you collect your insects. An aspirator acts like a vacuum that allows you to suck up insects. The insects are trapped in the collecting chamber by a filter that prevents accidentally swallowing them. And you'll also need a jar to observe the insects once you have them. So now we know what we need to catch insects and where to look to find them. So let's go find some. Sounds good. Alright, so now I'm going to show you some cases where you can see an insect's evidence of appearance, but they're not actually there themselves. Here you see leaf mining trails. And so the insect chewed through the plant material to create these trails. Man, that was a lot of cool stuff we found. I know. Let's go check out the forest and see what we can find there. Alright. Did you know that flies pollinate flowers too? This insect looks like a bee, but actually it's a fly. As you can see, insects come in all shapes, colors, and sizes, and you can find them everywhere. And we hope that you use the tools that we taught you today to go out in your own backyard and become insect detectives too.